we've been tasked with creating a prosthetic arm for a little girl, which is uh, quite the monumental feat, I would say. Um, of course, with this kind of project, we went through uh, several different prototypes before we got to what we have now. Um, another problem that we ran into was uh, budget. Uh, so we actually sat down, we presented in front of Mr. Hope, our school principal, and um, he gave us a, a grant for $800, which is more than what we really needed, so we're very grateful for that. I think it's really special, and to be honest, like, uh, when I first started this, I thought uh, it was going to be a long and, like, not fun road, but I've actually quite enjoyed every piece of this arm, and I put my little spin on everything, so it's kind of nice to, you know, like, at the end of the day, when she puts it on and she can use it, I know I've made a difference in somebody else's life, and that's all you can ask, you know. All of this is for her. When we first started this, we were actually in the middle of our final project for first semester, and we were all kind of like, oh, this isn't gonna work, none of us can do that, that's for professionals. And then it just kept going, and we're like, all right, I guess we have to do this. I brought her the wrong arm for testing to let her practice with it, see how she felt about it. And then we, from there, we on, we made more prototypes, there was lots of delays. When we ordered parts, they weren't coming in for weeks at a time, or even months in some cases. We ended up with about eight different arms at one point. Some were completely done, some were. And we had final three arms to give to her a week ago, and she tested them all. It actually kind of changed my degree goal for college. Originally I was going to go for just mechanical engineering, but now I'm interested in prosthetics because I love being able to help people. For your own daughter to have this opportunity, uh, you know, obviously the whole situation with Grace's birth and the whole process of that and her having to go through various obstacles in her life. Um, you just always have these different dreams, you know, that she will have every opportunity that every other young girl has. And just experiencing this, the, the process of it, um, watching her just get a lot of enjoyment out of it, and um, knowing that her situation could possibly help other kids, um, that might get inspired through a high school, um, just an everyday high school helping a little girl like Grace, that maybe they can do something for their community too. It makes me feel wonderful. I love being able to apply the things I've learned in school. It makes me feel like um, I'm able to give back to the community because Penn really is a wonderful school system and I'm very grateful to be part of Penn. Um, so anytime that I can show my community um, that I'm grateful for what they've given me, um, it makes me feel wonderful.